Are you sure that's a good idea? Yes. This is the repurchase pile. That'll do it. Ta-da. So you're staying? I'll be in the peanut gallery. James Bunn. Right now I'm James Low Pony. James Low Pony is in the house. Uh, okay, you guys. So we're just going to... <laughs> literally never film with you in here so this feels a little <laughs> bit weird what am i filming today do you know uh, i think you're going to be lighting all of your makeup on fire why have you been absent what happened um this is an excellent question i have been absent for two weeks two has it been two weeks yeah you haven't filmed in two weeks oh my gosh it feels like i legitimately took a small hiatus i did not intend to but my eye had a sty technically your eyelid had a sty my eyelid had a sty it was painful i have photos that i am not gonna put on the internet but you guys it was so swollen in the mornings i could barely open my eye the eye doctor is thinking it is one of two things, or maybe both combined. The eye doctor thought it was either an extreme level of stress or expired makeup, which I mean. No. <laughs> MAC palettes, they're so old. <sighs> Borderline not safe, but the shadow is still in great shape and it blends and I'm wearing this one today. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> take note, we're gonna talk about the expiration of makeup and all of that good stuff. I'm on a new wavelength with it, not hoarding and keeping old makeup. Anyway, I need that whole drawer pretty much. We are going to light it ablaze. We are going to get rid of everything in this drawer, which will kind of break my heart. The whole thing of me going through the makeup, I'm gonna give you like a rapid fire review because I've tried everything in here and I don't know why I'm keeping it all. It's a little, I, it's my job, but also it's a little crazy. So we're gonna go through it. And then I do like James's idea of um, shopping for new. He's my behind the scenes cameraman right now. What are you doing? B-roll. B-roll, okay. Can I just say also, I haven't worn makeup in like two weeks and I'm not even joking when I say I kind of feel a little bit weird with makeup on. Like I looked in the monitor and I was like, I don't look like myself. Like what's weird? Why do I look weird? And James is like, oh, it's cause um, you're wearing makeup. And I just kind of got used to my face. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> what? You're using these Ilios makeup lights. Yes. For lighting, this is like your setup. This it's is like my shh, this is my secret, but you can use Tati, code Tati something. I'll put it in the description box for money off. I love these things. All right, so before we get into the mascaras and the things I am dumping, I wanna quickly share with you what is on my eyes today. This is brand spanking new because I have decided to only use new makeup when it comes to liners and mascaras specifically. This is from Honest Beauty. I picked this up at Target. And then I'm also using Flower Chrome Crush Pressed Pigments in Topaz and Quartz. Uh, so that is my drugstore look, new makeup, and I'm not playing, we are getting rid. We are, we're doing it. Would it be easier to just hold up the drawer? No, because there's brow products in here, which I mean, my brow is close to my eyes. Do you think brow products expire the same? Do eyebrow products expire? Eye pencils, like eyeliners, should be replaced after six months of use. Shut up, oh my gosh. Meanwhile, brow pencils, brow gel, and gel liner can stay safely for up to a year. Products that have moisture, such as cream-based makeup, are prone to developing mold and yeast. The rule of thumb is to toss those items out after a year. We are all in danger. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have to throw everything away. This product shelf foundation, six months to the year. No, shh, I don't need to know this. It's not my eyes. Lipstick, stop, stop. Gloss, Please stop. No, oh my gosh. Brow pencils and eyeliner one year. No. There are three months, but that's just one source. Can you go to another? I'm really upset right now because I legitimately have a drawer of cream shadows that are like, mm, like 75% of them need to be thrown out because they're like years old. Let's just, let's just, Rip off the band-aid. Okay, all right, bye, see ya. 
Can we close this door? Yes, we have so much stuff. Let's just rapid fire, three, two, one. Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. You guys know this is in the repurchase pile. It is one of my top, very favorite mascaras of all time. I am gonna do a better job of not having like 10 mascaras open at a time. That's really hard for me because I am constantly reviewing and trying and testing. But what I hope to do is um, <laughs> like a really dorky sticker system with the date on it of when I open the product because that's kind of when the countdown begins. So you could, in essence, take like those little circle stickers just somewhere discreet on the product so it's not making it ugly. Um, on the bottom, something like that. Put the date of when you open it and then the date of expiration. And that way we know. And we're keeping our skin safe. We're keeping our mouth safe, our eyes safe. You know, I kind of wanted to just do the eyes, but when I'm thinking about everything, I'm like, yo, you basically eat your lipstick. So that's no good if you're putting expired, overgrowth, Ugh, bacteria, whatnot on your mouth on the daily. And then your skin is your largest organ. So when it comes to foundations, shoot, maybe we need like a full reset in here, you guys. I'm gonna fully do it. I wanna do it. This was such a wake up call for me and I couldn't not share. And honestly, I think sometimes we cause our own issues just by being unaware and it's very innocent, but we can do better and then not over purchase either. So this is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I didn't like this. I don't even know why I have this in here, but I continued to use it a few times, like wishful thinking, like maybe this time it will work. Cause I used to love YSL mascaras so much. It just, uh, that one just did not do it for me. Ooh, this is really tough. This is the Dior Iconic Overcurl. I bought this when Erica was visiting before her wedding. We went to Sephora, we had a great time. I got this and it's definitely been open for more than three months, even though this is a bomb mascara. This is again, the Dior Iconic Overcurl. If you want a high-end one that will blow you away, that is a good one. I do have the Koki Lash Euphoria. I do really like this. It builds beautifully as a nice, good, puffy brush. Why are there 20 crows in my backyard all of a sudden? Okay, weird like a puffy, 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 beautiful brush, more Lash Paradise. You guys, I'm doing my hair on Sunday. I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna change the color ever so slightly. It's been a minute. I've been falling apart. Let's just try to ignore that. Okay, uh, Pacifica Stellar Gaze. Why did I even keep this on hand? Blech. It's just not for me. L'Oreal Voluminous Noir Balm. This was a newer-ish one. I liked it, but it didn't compared to others that I like more, so you're out of here. Same thing with the Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. You guys, I used to wear this every single day. This was my favorite nonstop. It was an OG OG before I ever made beauty videos, beauty recommendation way back when. Anyway, this is such a throwback. It is a really good one. I tend to like my lashes a little more plumped up these days. So this is a pass. Clear mascara, I don't even know you. Why are you living in here? Um, this is the Diamond Mascara Mineral Wear from Physicians Formula. And I have only had this one open for a couple months. So I would keep this, but also I don't trust my eyes right now. I'm just kind of wanting to fully reset. I also have the Voluminous Original and this I purchased for this shade. It's like this gorgeous, am I like back in, 2000 whatever like doing this okay this is stunning to put on the lower lash like for my greeny blue eyes it just even that color of me doing this makes them go bam so there is something to be said about doing a particular look and using an enhancing shade of mascara especially on the lower lashes now this formula voluminous original from l'oreal is such a top-notch favorite such a good mascara formulation. I would definitely repurchase this. If I needed the colored one, I would repurchase it. But just in general, it's like just a good one, just a good standard one. The 5D Lash Pow Volumizing Mascara from Makeup Revolution. Surprisingly, I loved this. This I actually put in an anti-haul and they sent it to me. And I have to eat my words because this was such a good mascara. I ended up really, really loving it, but I've had it for like, 
since before I moved, which was, mm, what, seven months ago, six months ago? Has it been that long? Oh my gosh. It's been over six months. That's wild. That is so wild because I still have so much to do in this house. Um, the Buxom Mascara, eh, I, I don't know, I don't know. The Double Trouble from Essence. This one is a good cheapy mascara. If you're a mascara lover like me, you can get it done on a budget, absolutely. You can get even like $2.99, $4.99 mascaras from Essence and they perform beautifully. Let's all get on board at least like I know the eyeshadow, we can spray it with some alcohol. I know that we don't wanna be throwing everything away every three months and it's like, ah, how am I gonna do that? But I think with mascara, at least do it because it, the mascara actually gets up in your eye. Uh, so we can all do a little bit better. All right, we have the Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara. This is an extreme volume mascara. I liked it, it was really hard to remove and there's something in here that did itch my eyes. So this obviously I won't be repurchasing. This was newer, this is the Makeup Forever The Professional. Remember when I did my AI Picks My Makeup or the Virtual Assistant Picks My Makeup from Sephora, I tried this out and I had high, high hopes for it. Sadly, I didn't like it and I used it a few times more and I just didn't like it. So um, Make It Forever I love, but this one was a pass for me. Man, this just, this is just hard for me. Okay, we are also gonna get rid of, oh no, I liked this one, the Hourglass Extensions. <gasps> And the Grande Primer, Plumper with Peptides. This is a lash curler. I'm going for it, you guys, I'm just doing it. I'm doing it, I'm getting rid. Oh my gosh, pomades, do I even use these anymore? Not really. This one I just opened from Velour. This is their Brow Balm Fluff and Brow Pencil. They sent this to me. I'm gonna put a sticker on it and keep it. The Unbeliever Brow from L'Oreal. I just put this in a recent video as well. We'll keep that. The rest of you, It Cosmetics, Flower, Benefit, you're out of here. And honestly, I don't reach for any of these. I usually just go ahead and put a uh, brown eyeshadow with a brush in my brow and that's about it. Hold please. Oh my gosh. I had been keeping these on hand because they were sentimental to me and they were in the background of so many of my videos back in LA and you guys like, it's like memory lane for me that there was always at least one person in the comments that was like, Tati, it's making me crazy that you don't straighten those behind you. Can you please, I, I can't even focus on your videos. And I'd be like, oh, I'd straighten them. They'd get messed up. It was the same comment at least a hundred times over. Anyway, you guys, these Marc Jacobs shadows were such a smash epic hit. They were so good. Okay, so let's rapid fire through here of what I would and wouldn't repurchase. Pixie makes phenomenal liners, you guys. The Endless Silky Pen. You can pick these up at Target. I'm gonna put this in my repurchase pile because I just think they're that good. I definitely wanna keep some of those on hand. They're so silky, smooth, long wearing, easy to work with. The Revlon So Fierce Vinyl is out of here. Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner, out of here. I just don't reach for these much at all. Let's see here. Alme Pencils from the drugstore, also super great. Most of these are Revlon. I do have a Mally pencil in here and I love Mally liners, but I have had them for over a year because I purchased the Mally liners for Christmas last year. I got like a cute little holiday set. So it's time to part with that, but I'll likely repurchase. So now we have Lorac liquid liner. All liquids are going, they're just out of here. Ooh, this is a tough one to say bye to, but I've had it for a couple of years now. This is the face liner uh, made in Germany. It's just a beautiful nude, one of my favorites. Really great for getting underneath the brow in the waterline. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I also super love Patrick Ta liners. They are automatic, which I think I wanna try and get away from as much as I can for a few reasons. One, they break more easily, they crumble more easily, you don't have as much control, and you can't sharpen them to keep them clean, but the formula is good, I will share that. And then we have, lo and behold, more 
Okay, these were like the favorites. Ooh. Huda Beauty just sent me a brand new life liner, so score, I will continue using that. It's one of my favorites. Her formula just locks into place and it's so easy to use. I love the felt tip. So excited about that. This quick stick from Tarte, so good. I put this in a favorites a couple of times, I think, like favorites of the year and in a favorites when I got back on YouTube. And this product is so nice, but again, it's twist up and I've had it for a long while. But if you were curious, this definitely is a great one. This hourglass liner, oh my gosh. Like I don't even know how there's any left in here. This one is just a beautiful color, micro tip. It's the one five millimeter and it is in the shade bronze. Ah, oh, I actually super, super, super love this and I need to repurchase it for sure. This is the waterproof Jillian Dempsey Jet Black Coal Liner. Whew, this one is like, I am obsessed. It's so creamy and it glides right on. You can, you know, buff it out, put it in the water line. You can do so many great things with it. Gucci, you are overpriced and you are out of here. Stila, I love, oh my gosh. This is so good, the stay all day. Okay, I need that one again, even though it is retractable, we'll make an exception. Aqua Resist Pencil from Make It Forever. Mm, Mally Retractable, I like the sharpened ones better. Rare Beauty, mm, no. Uh, more Color Stay, Ilia, you guys. I'm trying to find more gentle natural, especially around the eyes, like for mascara, for liner. If you have recommendations, let me know. The Ilia liner for me did not work out. It just crumbled too quickly and dried out too quickly. This is the gel liner in blackest black from L'Oreal, the 24 hour infallible. I'll be buying a new one of those. That is just like a staple. And actually I'm looking at my cute little pile of like my Lash Paradise and my gel liner and my Mally liners and the Julian Dempsey and then some more colorful ones from Pixie. And this just feels like very correct and manageable and I like it. You guys laugh at me every single time I say that I wanna be more minimal and it's been really, really hard with products because I test so many products and because it is my career, but just in life in general, I've had enough of all the materialism. I've had enough. I have not bought a new pair of shoes or a new bag in literally two years. I'm not joking. I went through my closet the other day. It's not set up still. I have all of my clothes in the garage. And while that sounds like, oh, poor me, whoa. It's not even a big deal because I just kind of wear whatever. And it's not my main priority. My main priority every day is to be physically and spiritually healthy, to be good to my family, kind to myself, and to just feel really, really good. I love feeling good. And I started to notice through my YouTube career that I became so attached to things and the physical. And I'm really, really pleased that my year away from the internet, although it was a dramatic year away, I learned so much about letting go. And this has kind of been like this final, final piece, if you will. I've had a hard time just like ungripping from this collection. There's something about it that I just like, I, I wanna keep it all and I have memories attached and I, I think I might need it to do my job. But then this other part of me is like, you know what? Why not a fresh open lane, legit? Like make it fresh, let go of the past, let go of the event or the history or the time attached with this palette or that shadow or that liner and just like let it all go. And I think I am finally, Oh my gosh, these crows are freaking me out. Why is this? Okay, I am so distracted in this room sometimes, you guys. What are they doing? Stop. They make so much noise. Shushy. Literally, there were like eight of them. Um, Yeah, what's up, guys? Where was I? Minimalism. Okay, letting it go feels so good to me right now. So maybe... In like a weird way, my eye was kind of like the final push of like, okay, we're ready. It's time to undo. It's time to just be simple. And I will tell you something else about keeping things very, very simple. It is less stress. I have not gone out of my way to over-decorate my home. I don't have clutter everywhere. I like to keep like a smooth feeling in my space. And it just 
has been so nice, you know, and maybe I make a Q&A update about the house and how I'm doing things and how I'm really being selective about what I bring in. I want a lot of intention surrounding things I bring in my home and it's time to do that with all of the beauty stuff too. I'm just kind of really feeling that. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> uh, Dior waterproof, you're out of here. Tattoo Studio from Maybelline, you're out. More Revlon, more Alme, more Stila, One Size Beauty, Joa, It Superhero, Flower. I really like, oh, this was newer. Hmm. I, nope, we're, we're getting rid of retractable. I was gonna save this for the worst of the year. This is the Dior On Stage Liner. You guys, this is the most flaky liner of all time. It literally bleeds everywhere. I purchased this when I did the test run for Erica's wedding makeup. I'm hoping you can see how gloppy, wet, and just how quickly it bleeds into any like crevices on your eyes, on your skin. Yeah, this is so bad. So that's out of here. Uh, I'm going to go through my palettes and do a real deep clean. I just did a declutter. I posted that. I will link it below. The two palettes that I mentioned that I had for years and years and I've never had a problem were from MAC. Those are definitely out of here. And then I think also all of my cream shadows. Oh my gosh. Okay. And suddenly I'm having a problem with this, but it's okay. Uh, these Givenchy palettes, oh man, is this one even used? This one's brand new, I'll keep that. These I had fun with, especially this one right here. I wore this during lockdown a lot, I don't know why, it was just something that I wore almost every day. And I will put in a swatch of this really, really interesting green. This for some reason, every day, I basically wore no makeup, except for I would put that on and it just, it just did something for me that was really special. I am going to part with all of my Huda Beauty. Oh my gosh, I love these, you guys. This is the Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. And there are so many of these that are so crunchy because I just used them so much. All of these need to go from Tarte because I have had them for entirely, entirely way too long. But their little clay pots are wonderful, really saturated and just nice. My Danessa Myricks. I'm gonna keep these because I think they're within range. I got them here in Texas and I'm pretty sure they stay kind of hygienic in the tube. I'm keeping them. My Almay ones that I've had forever and ever, they're on their way out. Really sad that I just bought these and honestly, you guys, they're so bad. They're not good, no color payoff, really was shocked because I've been loving a lot of makeup from NYX lately, but this just was not it. The glow sticks, mm, no. I just repurchased this Wonderlust from Stila. So happy that I did. This is a standout, amazing, incredible, flattering on everyone kind of an item as far as a liquid shadow. So I'll keep that. I literally want to barf throwing these away from Bruna, Bruna Tavares. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. They are beautiful, just looking at them makes me happy. They're colorful. Maybe I'll just put them in a cute jar for display purposes, but I won't use them because I've had them for over a year and anything you're dipping in and out of and putting on your eye, you probably should not keep. They're just, they're done, but they were so fun to play with. You know what? My Stila's, my old Stila's, I just have had the hardest time partying. Like, look at how bad this one is. Oh my gosh. That is been around for way too long. So you're on your way out. I have the duo ones from Stila. These are on their way out. They were really, all Stila cream shadows are phenomenal. They're so good. I have newer ones from Ilia that I really do love. So I'll keep these. I have this guy that I never shared with you guys from PYT Beauty, picked up at Target um, just a couple months ago. And this is really surprisingly beautiful. I wasn't the biggest fan of their eyeshadow palette, but this one I do really love so much. And then I have the Twin Flames from Danessa Myricks. Those are brand new. I have, these are old from EXA. I don't know, I ordered these online from Ulta when I was looking for more Interesting new clean makeup, but honestly, these kind of burnt my eyes. So yeah, all right. 
You guys, I'm feeling sad. I feel like this is a lot for me to let go of. I've kind of had my fill of going through everything for one video. I hope you guys enjoyed decluttering with me and that I am really scaling it back and only keeping on hand the very, very best of the best. I am committed to doing a better job with expirations and reminding you all out there to press the pause button. You don't need to purchase absolutely everything that launches. You know, maybe I'll start a series where it is more tutorial based, get ready based, story time based, and we can get our hands in the makeup that we already have, know and love and not feel that pressure to always buy the new new because long story short, it can expire and if you're like me and you keep things on hand too long it can cause problems so there we have it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video even though it was likely my most scattered of all time still i thank you for being here and you guys are awesome to watch my content to like it and leave comments and support me and that does not go unnoticed i thank you so so much so let me know in the comments have you had the sty situation before leave me your stories i love reading them all right go have a good one whatever you are doing i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video Mwah.